Hi students, my name is Miss Ashley and today we are going to be reading a reading passage for second grade students and answering comprehension questions for how to draw a shark. So just on this slide, we are going to talk about what we're going to be doing for the lesson. So number one, we are going to do an overview. Number two is explaining what the story is about. Number three is us reading the reading passage two times. And number four is comprehension questions about the story. For the introduction, we are going to be learning about how to draw sharks. We will first go over what the story is about. We will then read the passage, answer comprehension questions, and then draw the shark. So the, what is this reading passage about? This reading passage is about how to draw a shark, the steps needed to create one successively, and the passage will explain the materials we will need to create our very own shark. There are some vocabulary words we need to become familiar with. Right here is a jaw, that is a shark jaw, and this is the mouth, it's the mouth and the parts that frame it. So this helps the shark to eat. This is her teeth right along there, if you can see them. And then the second vocabulary word is gills. Gills are an organ used for fish that helps them to breathe. So right here is where their gills would be, and this is to help them breathe underwater. The third vocabulary word is fin. The fin is right here where I'm circling around and it's a thin flat body part of a fish that is used for swimming and balance. The last vocabulary word is mistake. Mistake is a thought or action that is not correct. For example, if you add two plus two and get a five, that would be a mistake. So, what we're going to do first is I'm going to read the passage two times, and then we are going to practice answering comprehension questions about the um, reading. So how do you draw a shark? Are you interested in sharks? Let's learn how to draw one. You need a blank piece of paper, a pencil, and an eraser. Even the best artists make mistakes. So use the eraser whenever you want, whenever you make a mistake or want to fix a part of your drawing. First, start on the left side of the paper towards the middle. Draw a sideways V pointing towards the left side of the paper. So here's your sideways V. In the middle of the sideways V, draw a dot for an eye. So there's your eye. Draw a line above the eye if you want your shark to be look mean. Next, draw a smaller sideways V under the first one. So here's your smaller sideways V. That will be the bottom jaw. And if you remember, the jaw was a picture of um, the bones and that's what helps the shark to eat. And then draw some teeth inside the mouth. So there's your teeth. Then add a long curved line from the top of the head to the right side of the paper. This is the shark's back, so here's your line. Add an upside down V in the middle of the curve to make a fin. So here's your upside down V for the fin. The fin is to help it balance. And then for the tail, make a sideways M or a W with the points facing the right side of the paper. So there's your fin, or your um, tail. Your shark is almost done. Add another curved line for the belly of the shark, from the bottom of the head to the tail. Next, to eyes and mouth, draw three curved lines going almost from the top of the shark to the bottom of the shark. These are the gills. So here's your gills. And if you remember, gills are to help sharks breathe. This is their breathing organ. Last, draw little Vs pointing down for the other fins. Great job drawing the shark. All right, so we are going to read the passage one more time to get a better understanding. So how to draw a shark. Are you interested in sharks? Let's learn how to draw one. You need a blank piece of paper, a pencil, and an eraser. So those are material, materials you need, a blank piece of paper, a pencil, and an eraser. Even the best artists make mistakes. So use the eraser whenever you make a mistake or want to fix a part of your drawing. First, start on the left side of the paper towards the middle. Draw a sideways V pointing towards the left side of the paper. So there's your sideways V. In the middle of the sideways V, draw a dot for an eye. And then draw a line above the eye if you want your shark to look mean. Next, draw a smaller sideways V under the first one. That will be the bottom of the jaw. So the jaw is to help the shark eat. Draw some teeth inside the mouth. Then add a long curved line from the top of the head to the right side of the paper. So here's your long curved line. This is the shark's back. Add an upside down V in the middle of the curve to make a fin. 
So there's your upside down V for the fin. For the tail, make a sideways M or W with the points facing the right side of the paper. So here's your tail right there. And you can see the upside down M. Your shark is almost done. Add another curved line for the belly of the shark from the bottom of the head to the tail. Next to eyes and mouth, draw three curved lines going almost from the top of the shark to the bottom of the shark. These are the gills. Last, draw little Vs pointing down for the other fins. So here's the gills, and that's to help them breathe underwater. And then here's the upside down Vs for the other little fins. And right now we are going to answer comprehension questions about the passage. So what you will need is paper and a pencil to answer the questions. So the first question is a problem and solution question. So the problem is you made a mistake while draw, drawing your shark. What does the reading passage say you should do if you make a mistake? So let's check to see if you are correct. So if we made a mistake while drawing our shark, we should use an eraser and change our drawing. So what do we need to draw a shark? I said this at the beginning of the reading. The choices are paper, A, B, pencil, C, eraser, or D, all of the above. Now think back to the passage and what you think we will need to draw a shark. So, what do you need to draw a shark? The answer is all of the above are needed to draw a shark. Remember that you needed um, a eraser to make, erase any mistakes, um, a blank piece of paper, and a pencil. On the shark, can you locate the gills and circle them? What Do you remember what gills do for sharks? So I want you to circle the gills on your shark, and then I want you to write down what they do for the shark. So as you can see on my picture, this is the gills right here. I circled them. And the gills help the sharks to breathe underwater. All right, and that is all for today. Thank you for joining my video.